Oh! God, where did it go? Where did it go? Warning, this video contains graphic images of giant, hairy, scary spiders. If you suffer arachnophobia, this video is not for you. Well, it's summertime at my place, and I've got a huntsman spider. It's actually just on the outside of our house. But I'm worried if it gets into the roof cavity there, it's going to soon be on the inside. And I don't want that going on. Well, I'm going to use a bit of chemical here. It's Bagon Outdoor and Spider. I hope this is going to clean this guy up. I'll give it a bit of a shake and a test spray to see what I'm up against here. Okay. Now it's going to probably do the bolt or drop on me or something. I have to get quite close. Okay. There's the spray there. Oh! God, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh God. My God, where did it go? I can't see it. I can't. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, my God. Where the hell did that thing go? Is it on me? It jumped. I've got no idea. I'll just keep spraying. I'll just keep spraying. Oh, my God. Oh, this stuff stinks. <coughs> God, I'm going to get him myself. Where in the hell did that spider go? Whoa! Oh, it's gonna settle down. It is nowhere on the floor. Where the hell did that thing go? God, it jumped fast. Is it in the shelves there? <coughs> it's all slippery here now. It's dangerous. <coughs> I'm choking on this stuff as well. What was that stuff? Oh! Oh my God! Where did that damn spider go? Oh my goodness me, it is, uh, it's stricken I'd say. I'd say that spider is having its last, so it's actually hiding from the light. It's coming around this side. Ooh, that thing's a beast. It's actually crawling up, there's a spider web there. If it goes up, it's going to get eaten by another spider. I don't think that's such a clever thing to do, Mr. and Mrs. Spider. It's trying to lick its wounds by the looks of it. Oh dear, oh dear. It's going to probably just drop any moment. As long as it doesn't drop on me. Oh, that's weird. Never seen the underside of them like that when it's walking on glass. Very strange sort of spiders, don't they? They sometimes walk like crabs. The way they walk. Wow, that is freaky, seeing it like that. Very, very freaky, seeing the underside view of that spider. Well, it's just strolling around. It's probably just trying to work out what to do. It's looking very hairy and scary. Oh, it's coming up the top here. Still licking its wounds. I think it's got enough spray to do it in. It just takes ages. Oh, it just takes ages for sometimes for these sprays to work because these things seem to seem to be almost well. The spray doesn't do anything to them. That's how resilient they are these days. They just morphed into like super spiders. Oh dear, oh dear. I haven't got the family here, so I'm having to deal with this myself. The kids would have been screaming their lungs out seeing this thing. I'm actually using a camera I'm not familiar with. It's the one that does a thousand frames a second. It's a little Sony thing. I did a, a lawnmower review with it and in its full auto settings it's actually not too bad. I've just got a like a torch strapped underneath it, if that makes any sense, to give me light here. Just auto settings um, is what's shooting here. Look at the shadow of that thing. I think the shadow of things is the most scary aspect, isn't it? It's still struggling on. Still struggling on. Well, it's on the other side of the glass there. Um, I think it's going to die. It's just taking a long, long time. Let's just pop over to this side again. I mean, who knows? It might just shrug off that spray that it got. Uh, it's just sitting there and contemplating what to do next. Man, because I've sprayed it, I can't feed it to the birds. Normally, I would feed these to the birds and they're like a delicacy. The birds swoop down and get these real fast. Just turn down the light a bit, and maybe we'll see it better there. It's just sitting there, it's not doing a thing. That yellow uh, thing there's the torch underneath the camera. I'm just sussing out underneath the spider because it's not often you get to see underneath these guys. Anyone feeling itchy right now? I just hope this thing doesn't scale the glass here and come and get me. Well, it's just sitting there. Um, Marking time, like I said, I don't think it's going to live much longer. Just wondering how the auto focus on his camera is handling it. I'm just letting it do auto everything. Well, the spider doesn't seem to be moving at all. I'm actually sort of 
trying to work out what it's doing. It's just frozen in time. Yeah, I don't know what it's up to. It, who knows, it might have just died there. You know, I think it has died because when these spiders die, the legs tend to retract inwards. That's one thing I've noticed. They, they stop looking like spiders and they sort of ball up. And I can just see each leg uh, very, very slowly retracting in. In fact, I would say that spider is dead. I'm just going to give it a tap with this can of spray. I think it's cactus, this one. Look at that. Not moving at all. So that's a very, very strange way to die. It is just frozen in time in the glass there. It's not moving at all. It's just slowly pulling its legs in. Well, I hope this camera has kept focus. It's got this amazing steady shot in it. It's a Sony RX100-4, I think. I hope I got it right there. Uh, I thought it was a bit of a one feature, you know, camera with the thousand frames a second, blah, blah. But the steady shot in it is actually amazing. I'm just handheld here. And you probably barely even know. I just hope that focus is staying locked on that spot. It's a tricky thing to do because there's glass there and there's also a background. Yeah, automatic everything. I think the spider's a bit overexposed, but it's really hard to tell until I see it on the computer. Well, certainly a very strange and slow way to die. I never expected to be hanging off the glass like that and uh, slowly pulling its legs in to its final death. Well, I'll knock it to the ground. It's a gone up. One leg sticking on there. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Come on. There it goes. Dead as a doorknob. That is, until it jumps up back alive again well maybe it is uh coming back to life actually i've just sort of noticed why these spiders are hanging around because that's the things that actually look at the size of that cockroach it's absolutely enormous it's out in the garden thank goodness for that whoa and look at the speed of that thing go really scary really really scary oh that's a horrid looking thing there's another spider down in the garden here, I want to show you it. It's around Lunar New Year time. Uh, it's the time of year in Australia where you'll get like the golden orb spiders making their big webs. You get the big garden spiders, um, whatever they are, this giant garden spiders. But this one down here, it's down really low. And if you're walking around in the garden at night, it would just be <laughs> face bladder straight in your face. Let's take a look at this beautiful spider. Well, there's our clothesline. Um, that there is a choco tree. I can't stand chokers, I think they've got no flavour. And this spider is just there, right at head height. These spiders make absolutely ginormous webs. And if the web is destroyed, they'll just remake it again tomorrow. Now it's nice and convenient because this one is down low. Often these are up high in trees and places you can't go. And it's actually feeding at the moment. If I go around the other side of the web, we'll see what it's caught. Just walking very carefully, making sure we don't upset any web. Okay, I'm over here on the flip side of this spider's web. And right now that spider is sucking the life out of something there. I just can't tell what it is. Maybe you guys can identify that. Um, I can't. I must come out and make a video of uh, this guy making its web. It's quite miraculous to see the intricacies that go on. Whatever it is... It looks like a really big catch. I'm wondering if this camera is able to focus on that. It'd be pretty tricky to do. There's just basically a little spider in the middle there and some web. Hmm. Be curious to see how it turns out. Just trying to get a sucking shot because we want to see how these spiders suck. Hmm. Looks absolutely delicious. Yes, you'll soon wake up if you walk around the garden. You get one of these guys in your face. It makes you really run. It's been funny, this camera's got face detection and it's having trouble working out exactly what a spider's face is. Little square keeps flashing up, thinking, hmm, is that a face? Or is that something to be frightened of? Well, I'll leave uh, Mrs. Giant Garden Spider to finish off a meal uninterrupted. Spiders in Australia, summertime in Australia. Spiders in summertime, they're always connected. Some people come to Australia to live here and they see the giant spiders and they run straight back home to where they came. It's the Sony RX100-4, this camera, and the big problem with it, it's sort of great in auto mode, but the battery doesn't last very long. Basically, in the time that I shot this video, 
I've chewed up a battery, although you can attach a battery pack, one of those little things that charge up your phones and stuff, and you can run the cable into the camera <laughs> to uh, basically keep a battery. I think that's the cheap way of doing it. Anyway, I better leave this video here. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now. Keep an eye out for those big, hairy, scary spiders. Well, I did go out the next night to shoot this spider, but I used manual ISO, so I had more camera control. As you can see in this video, the auto ISO tended to overexpose the spider. The camera in auto mode is probably fine for outside in the daylight, but at night time it was having trouble. It was overexposing the spider. It was having trouble with white balance as well. And the LED torch that I was using was leaving some weird lines on the video. In this setup, I'm using some LED work lights, and I can't see that strobing problem going on. But hopefully, we're seeing the beautiful details in this spider. Although, this spider was playing hard to get. I don't think I was paying it enough to be in a video. And this is what happened. There's two in the bolt. Where's it going? Oh, it's completely done the bolt on me. Maybe it's given up for tonight. Absolutely no use. Um shooting an empty web is there we need the spider on it what's that saying about working with animals uh, <laughs> no spider it's just gone back to its hidey hole in the uh, choco tree there maybe i have to come out another night to try and pull this off